ओम भूर्भुवस्तुर्वरेण्यम भर्गो देवशीम दियो यो न प्रचोदया भूर्भुस्व तत्सवितोर्वरेण्यम भर्गो देवशीमह दियो यो न प्रचोदया सवितोर्वरेण्यम भर्गो देवशीम दियो यो न प्रचोदया शांति 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 नमस्ते डियर फ्रेंड्स today i will talk about the most important topic that is atam gyan we are in delusion and ignorance forget about the atma and all the 24 hours we are under the influence of mind and ego our main problem is we believe in other people and do not believe in our own self we give undo importance to the body mind ego intellect but we should know that our all the parts of our body receive energy and power from the soul our mind receives power from the soul ego receives power from the soul our complete life is controlled by our soul and unfortunately we are completely unaware of our atma what can be the biggest mistake in our life other than forgetting our a sense our consciousness our atma our real self dear friends people talk about controlling the mind my dear friends there is no such entity like mind which in reality exist 
mind is a non existent entity please try to understand this basic ignorance what we are suffering from mind is nothing but the bundle of thoughts arising from our atma the origin origin of thoughts is the source of thoughts is our atma and these thoughts constitute the mind so the source of mind is our atma another modification of this mind is ego ego is nothing but the basic thought i am this body this identification of the self with the body is called ego the complete functioning of our day to day life is through the mind and ego remember i am this body this is known as the i thought the first thought rest all the other thoughts are evolved around this i thought this i is false this i is ego remember i am this body is called basic thought is called i thought and this i is also false this i is ego remember so this i thought is the first thought and other thoughts they are arising after this basic thought this is a very subtle thought we are not knowing we are not aware of the existence of this basic thought but this is the original thought rest all other thoughts they arise after this basic thought so mind and ego are receiving the power for their functioning from the soul sometimes we are happy remember this happiness is the nature of our atma when we are happy this happiness is reflected from the atma remember so happiness is the basic nature of our atma because the basic nature of atma is bliss and peace anand and shanti our atma is bliss and peace sat chit anand sat means existence chit means consciousness anand means bliss so the basic nature of our atma is sat chit anand that means 
peace and bliss are the basic nature of our Atma. We are completely ignorant of this relation of mind and ego with our Atma. Then the biggest problem with us is not having any faith in our own self. Self means we remember this Atma. First thing we do not know anything about the Atma. If by mistake we have heard about the Atma, we don't know anything, we don't have any faith, we don't have any belief on the Atma. So due to the lack of this belief, our life becomes miserable. Remember dear friends, Mind is non-existent. Remember this, remember this, remember this. Ego is a modification of this mind and ego is also non-existent. People, they have written books on Superconscious mind, subconscious mind, power of the subconscious mind. See, this is complete ignorance. This is a gyan. My dear friends, how the conception of Conscious mind, subconscious mind, unconscious mind, and superconscious mind is available in the books. Dear friend, remember our intellect is another modification of this mind. So, Ego controls the mind, intellect controls the mind, mind, ego and intellect, the source is our Atma, remember, source of every entity in our body is Atma, that is the Chetan entity. That is the living entity. So, now we have to learn the basic thing. The basic thing is have complete faith in your Atma. Have faith in your Atma. Have Shraddha in your Atma. Dear friends, our Atma and Paramatma, Soul and God, are not separate. This is the most important point. People seek happiness outside. People seek God outside. People, they hope that some other person will help me in my self-realization, in my liberation. This is completely out of ignorance, my dear friends. No physical body, no physical group can 
help you in self-realization. This is the most important point. Our self, our Atma is the Guru. Remember, our Atma is the Guru. Maharishi Ramana did not have any Guru. Rama Krishna Paramhansa started without a Guru. In between, he had some Tota Puri and Brahmani, etc. But that is all for that was a very just a temporary phase of his life. Otherwise, these are the two self-realized soul in the last century. And they did not have in reality any Guru. Maharishi Ramana had told in very clear terms that no physical Guru is needed. Remember this. Even Swami Ram Sukhdas Ji, whom I have seen with my own eyes, he used to say, no physical Guru can help you in self-realization and liberation. Swami Ram Sukhdas was the self-realized soul like Mahrsi Ramana and Rama Krishna Paramahansa. Swami Vivekananda, if you study his philosophy in depth, you will realize that God and Atma are not separate. Another great incarnate of God, Satya Sai Baba, his each and every word and sentence was like a Vedavakya. Whenever he used to give any discourse, his discourse was like the message directly from Vedas, Darshanas, Upanishads. Unfortunately, what I have observed, people they know Sat Sai Baba due to his miracles, due to his interviews. People never try to go into the depth of philosophy of Satya Sai Baba. Whenever I hear the experiences of the devotees, they always talk about, I had a dream, I had an interview, Baba have shown miracles. Oh, my dear friends, Satya Sai Baba was a living Veda. He was Upanishads, all our Shastras. Baba used to give discourses completely on our ancient scriptures, but people I have seen, they never talk about the real philosophy of Satya Sai Baba, but they always talk about Vibhuti is given, 
ring is given, necklace is given, this miracle, that miracle, what is my dear friend? Satya Sai Baba was a living Veda, living Upanishad, living Darshanas, living Puranas. Why don't you go and study his discourses? Listen his discourses. They are available in the completely online. Please know the truth. Spend time and people be just listen but never put efforts. That is the man problem. That is the man problem. See, whatever we think we become, what we think we are, this is the basic principle. We talk about the problems, discuss the solution, but continuously we think about the problem. What we want? We want the eradication of the problem, but what we think? We think about the problem. So, instead of decreasing the problem, reducing the problem, making the problem weak, we are increasing the intensity of the problem. Because the basic rule says, what we think we are. So, instead of thinking, discussing about the solution, continuously we think, we talk about the problem. So, we are suffering. See, this is the problem. We are suffering because we are always thinking about the problem. Then people, they say, I pray to God, but God never replies back. My dear friends, first understand what is prayer and how you should pray. Remember, when we pray to God for anything materialistic, you will never get the reply. Whenever you pray to God, please say, O oh God, help all the human beings on this earth. Always ask benefit for each and ever, every human being living on this earth. God will be happy and definitely will reply your query. Never ask God for your own selfish motivated things. God will never, never, never respond. God will respond when you are asking the favor for the whole humanity. Remember, we must understand our fault lines. Pray, pray for each and every body, for a common cause. O oh God, give happiness to every body in this world. O oh God, make every 
body on the earth happy like that your prayer should for all because you will be included in all so that will be a double advantage first thing god will be happy he will god will respond and that benefit will accrue to you also because in the whole mankind you are also one entity so these you know we have to understand simple things then people always think <clears throat> some guru will help me they all they expect somebody to appear and help nothing is going like that just decide with determination that i want to raise the level of my spirituality first have the destination your destination is self realization then comes determination that desire of self realization must be with earnestness with determination full determination firm determination then comes the shraddha faith faith in whom faith in your atma now you have decided your goal that is self realization then you have the firm determination drid irada aapka irada aapka aim kya hai self realization then it is further helped by the determination then comes the faith shraddha shraddha in yourself then comes the have the belief that my atma is my real guru my real self is my real guru then further have the faith my atma is <coughs> the god himself god and atma are not different this is the right thinking this is the right path you have to tread do not expect somebody will come and help you my dear friend nothing of that sort is going to happen nothing you are having your atma as your guru have firm affirmations i am not this body my self and my body are different we always say this is my hand this is my leg this is my head this is my nose that means nose is not you head is not you hands and legs are not you you are different from these body parts when you are different from body parts that means you are separate from the body as a whole that means 
your body and yourself are completely different entities the basic thing that means you are not this body you are not this mind you are not this ego after this understanding now have full faith that i can tread on the path for self realization without any body's help and that is you have chosen the right path never have any hope that some physical guru will come and help me no your atma is your real guru my dear friend when you start thinking on these lines your mind and ego will become weak day by day day by day in the initial stages there will be some problems when you sit for meditation and contemplation you will face problems i tell you what type of problems you might have seen during rainfall after the rainfall many weeds come out on the earth surface because the seeds of these weeds were breed underneath the ground and after the rainfall these seeds they germinate due to water seep through the soil in the same way dear friends our chit is having vasanas they are subtle impressions accumulated in our chit we call that subconscious mind that subconscious mind this is our chit so these vasanas <coughs> are the cause of arising of thoughts from the soul so these vasanas will oppose <coughs> our any action going towards the divinity these vasanas they will become very angry whenever we sit for meditation and contemplation very painful thoughts will start arising and people who are weak who are not well determined who do not have faith in their own self they are frustrated very quickly and they stop meditation and all dear friends 
when you <coughs> sit for meditation and many thoughts are arising out one after the another in succession please do not afraid of these thoughts that is the sign of the progress in your spiritual sadhana <coughs> more or more negative thoughts with negative energy when they are on the surface of your <coughs> this chitta that means they are going out remember this negative because these vasanas are empowered by the negative energy so more thoughts painful thoughts are there they are going out and it is good it is not bad please do not be afraid of these thoughts this is the basic process this is quite natural and normal for few days you may have <coughs> some lights will be visible some this you know astral bodies will be limited do not struck yourself this is the basic normal thing so more and more and more thoughts are arising it is a good sign that these vasanas they are going out one by one one by one so how faith faith in what faith in your atma and think that these thoughts this mind this ego all these vasanas they are getting power from where they are all getting power from the soul from the atma very simple this is the you know brahma gyan this is the atam gyan if you read any you study any upanishad <coughs> with the depth of your the sad buddhi we call wisdom whenever you study something do not depend upon the intellect please take the help of wisdom that is vivek discrimination what is real what is unreal that is the <coughs> separate unreal from the separate real from the unreal with the help of discriminating power vivek when the intellect is combined with this discriminating power that part of our intellect is known as wisdom viveka vivek sad buddhi we call in sanskrit sad buddhi so always take the help of sad buddhi awaken your vivek power <coughs> awaken self awareness make your self attention and self awareness very powerful and another thing you know please do not believe do not study books like in you know, a control your mind <laughs> what a funny thing dear friends i tell you our soul our atma is as an ma that means is it it is never born azar it is same changeless it never is a child never is a young or never is a old that means it is changeless 
एंड अमर अजर अमर एजन्मा नेवर बोर्न नो बर्थ नो चेंज एंड इमोर्टल नेवर डाइज सो देन आवर आत्मा इज सर्वव्यापी मीन्स ओमनी पोटेंट आवर आत्मा इज सर्वशक्तिशाली दैट मीन्स ओमनी पोटेंट देन आवर आत्मा इज सर्वज ओमनी सियंट नोज इज एंड एवरी थिंग रिमेम्बर दिस हैव फेथ इन योर सेल्फ योर आत्मा इज ओमनी सियंट सो the atma is omnipotent have this learn this think this have faith in this believe and the thoughts are arising from where from the atma that means the thoughts are powerful no doubt why because they are arising from a very very powerful source that is atma my dear friends that means your mind is originating from the atma the atma is omnipotent and the thoughts arising from the atma they are also definitely omnipotent when when these thoughts are going outwardly they are with negative energy away from the divinity remember away from the divinity now do not think of controlling what you have to do change the direction of your mind and thoughts inwardly so the basic thing is do not say control the mind but change the direction of mind that is the basic thing then use your positive energy positive affirmations and sit for contemplation affirmations visualization that start like this i am not this body i am not the mind i am not the ego i am omnipotent omniscient omnipresent atma my mind is non existent mind is having its source in the spiritual heart where our soul is residing so say like this i am going deeper 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 and deeper towards the inner core of my spiritual heart you will feel that your mind and ego they are weakened they become weak so visualize for some time that i am here this i is your ego remember this very simple there is no secret baba i am means the ego says your mind says because ego is the modification of your mind do not <laughs> separate mind and ego just modification different features of mind this uh, different aspects of mind 
so means attributes of mind you can see so say like this i am going inwardly to the spiritual heart and entering the spiritual heart spiritual heart and merging with the soul merging with the source merging with my source another term i used here is spiritual heart dear friends see for understanding these terms are there in the real sense there is no spiritual heart maharshi ramana used to say for making people understand we are using the term spiritual heart otherwise spiritual heart and atma same thing atma and parmatma same thing so you see spiritual heart you see atma you see brahma so there is no difference why the why i say like that see atma brahm is infinite omnipotent and brahm and atma are same that means atma is omnipotent atma is sarvavyapak sarvashakti shali so we say atma resides in the spiritual heart atma is what omnipotent omnipresent and our body is what finite limited so spiritual heart when we say that they, that that is a very small entity in our body how infinite can be occupied in the finite so dear friends these are the basic things you know we just hear discourses and all and we are completely you know become you know confused no confusion just follow the pattern simple as god is omnipotent as atma is omnipotent and atma and parmatma residing in the spiritual heart means that is also infinite so it is not confined and located in the body but for making human mind to understand this you know term is used spiritual heart otherwise the spiritual heart and atma and god are the same and they are in the spread in the whole universe see take the example water water in an ocean water in a well water in your glass water in your cup water is made up of two atoms of hydrogen one atom of oxygen and these three atoms are combined chemically give this shape to one molecule of water so my dear friends atma is the part of parmatma when this water you know in the river water mixes with ocean water that river loses its identity and it becomes the ocean same way when 
self-realization is successful, that means your Atma merges with Brahma, merges with God. Basic things. So this is, you know, very simple. Dear friends, do not think you are weak. Do not think you do not know anything. My dear friend, when you start having faith, real faith, true faith in your soul, your mind, your ego, your all this intellect and all will be completely weakened and you will have the flesh day by day you will have the real knowledge but knowledge the word knowledge what is knowledge we think you know i know biology i know chemistry i know physics i know this commerce i know psychology my dear friend these this is not knowledge, this is just, you know, some sort of, uh, this knowledge is the, you know, called secular knowledge. This knowledge is just, uh, you know, connected with the body. The real knowledge is knowing about soul, God, and their relation. When you know, when you realize yourself, when you realize your Atma, when you realize the God, that is the knowledge. Jnana. Jnana is knowing thyself. Know thyself, that is knowledge. Knowing these subjects and all, my dear friend, these are, when our body dies, this knowledge is gone. But the spiritual knowledge remains forever with your soul. When a person dies, the subtle body with your mind with your chitta, with your ego, that is your subtle astral body. Huh? All the five organs of action, organs of sense organs and all. So these are constitute mind, ego, buddhi and all. These are constituting the astral body. When a person is self-realized, that means your astral body gone, your mind gone, ego gone, vasanas gone. That is the state of self-realization. So, you are the powerful entity. You are the powerful entity. Have this faith in you, my dear. See, the word faith is nothing but the faith in your own self. Faith in your Atma. Have faith in you. That means you have faith in God. So be faithful to your own self. You are the greatest guru. Your Atma is your guru. Your Atma is your God. Do not seek happiness outside. This happiness is the attribute of your Atma. Whenever you are happy, that means this reflection is from your Atma. Dear friends, as you think 
यू बिकम देर आर वेरियस नाड़ीज इन आवर बॉडी देर आर एंडो क्राइन ग्लैंड इन आवर बॉडी वेन एवर वी आर इन नेगेटिव thought full state that time endocrine glands excrete very harmful hormones negative hormones and these hormones mix with the blood and spread in the whole body when you are in positive mind full stays that time your endocrine glands produce hormones which are very very useful and they go to each and every body part in the body remember my dear friends so positive energy is always available when we have positive affirmations positive thoughts as we think we are that is the basic rule so when you are in meditation what you are doing you are trying to reach the divinity atma and parmatma these are our source of divinity anything connected with atma and parmatma is known as divinity so whenever you are sitting in meditation and you are contemplating and you are having positive affirmations see affirmation you you know the word affirmation affirmation say i am brahma so this is a affirmation i am a thief this is a negative affirmation i am the true follower of divine power this is the positive affirmation shivoham main shiv i am shiv this is positive affirmation see these are you know called mahavakyas i have given videos on these so always sit for meditation and convince your mind don't control you can't control if somebody says control uh, i'm really afraid that person is in nowhere on the right track how can you control something coming out from omnipotent source huh? atma is what omnipotent and mind is what it is coming from where it is coming from atma atma is omnipotent mind is also omnipotent is it so how can you control it my dear friend if you have to convince this mind see every act of destruction and construction is done by mind remember this because atma is just a witness atma is just a witness so <clears throat> whether we want to go to hell or we want to go to heaven 
the medium is mind remember this with the help of this mind we can go to the path of destruction with the help of the same mind we can go towards divinity that means see remember when this mind is going outward that means it is going to the world this is going to mix with the worldly affairs and its nature is negative it is completely having negative energy now contemplate with affirmations convince your mind oh my mind instead of, of going to outwardly please go to your source and when mind is going towards the spiritual heart the spiritual heart is just for reference there is no spiritual heart so please go to your source that your source is atma that time this mind is with positive energy and when the mind is convinced and with affirmations its direction is changed that time it becomes pure and pure and pure when it is completely refined and purified this mind is nothing but atma it mixes with its source and it becomes pure like atma so people you know they think of what is this you know self realization this self realization is nothing just your mind and ego they are destroyed not physically just change by changing their direction instead of letting them to go outwardly please direct them to go to the source that is the atma mixing with the atma mix this mind and ego and all vasanas they are merged with the atma that is nothing but the self realization so my dear friends this is nothing but the brahm gyan of our upanishads vedas and ancient sages very simple there is <laughs> no secrecy i don't know how people they have made it so confusion <laughs> very simple enjoy you can enjoy have faith in you don't go for any guru and all this nothing these are all you know there is no truth in that your atma itself is your guru god is guru your atma is guru so my dear friend thank you for listening my simple talk simple frank but true talk so please share this video with your friends and like comment and please subscribe sky my channel thank you my dear friends i will be coming with such videos every now and then my aim is that my dear friends should know the brahm gyan brahm vidya of our ancient sages thank you for your patience namaste